Hi it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would do a new in my wardrobe. I feel like I've, I've obviously been doing a lot less hauls recently, so I thought it would still be nice to show you what I've been accumulating over the last few months. It's kind of like what I've been buying the last two or three months, um, which is why there are quite a lot of pieces. But yeah, if you would like to see that, then please carry on watching. I've got to say, I feel like half of this haul is jackets. I have just been crazy for jackets right now. And there's still so many that I want on my wish list. I'm gonna start off with this piece. This is like a dark gray, kind of like a charcoal. It's a jacket, but it almost gives me like a cape vibe because it's so like flowy. Um, so I almost kind of call it my grey cape. This one is from Zara um, and I actually got this in a charity shop so I'm really sorry I'm probably not going to be able to find this online. Um, this has been like my charity shop find of the year. It wasn't an extra large but I do kind of feel like it works. Um, if it hadn't have said that sizing I would have just thought it was an oversized fit so I've been loving that. And then the next piece is my prized possession of the moment which <laughs> is the mango faux fur jacket. Honestly, it took me a while to really want this. When I first started seeing everyone in it, I was like, hmm, I'm not too sure. I wasn't too sure if it was my kind of style, but then like the more I saw people wearing it, I was like absolutely obsessed with it. I got a size small for reference and it fits perfectly. I do feel like, I don't know, I see some people with an extra small, some people with an extra large, and it doesn't look like there's too much difference in sizing. So I honestly feel like you could be like a few sizes. I don't think you need to get it exactly, but the small works perfectly and it is so, so soft. I'm absolutely obsessed. And it actually keeps you a lot warmer than you think it will. I don't know if it's because of the leather on the inside, but you would think, oh, it's quite thin, but actually it keeps you really warm. Next we have this kind of wool style blazer in this kind of like, I want to call it like a greeny brown. It is kind of like an olivey brown which I really like and it is super oversized. They only had a UK 36 in stock when I bought it. I probably would have usually gone for a 34. It does still kind of work. I thought it would be way too huge on me but actually it does look quite nice especially when it's belted and yeah I just felt like this was a colour blazer I was missing in my wardrobe. I feel like I was trying to shun brown from my wardrobe maybe like a year ago but really I think I just had the wrong brown pieces. I already actually have like a faux leather brown blazer which I've been loving as well so also love pairing a brown blazer with a brown headband. I feel like it's such a cute look. Piece that I bought literally, it was either just before Christmas or just after Christmas, was this kind of like white slash off-white cream puffer. The brand is actually Columbia, but I bought this from ASOS. And I was just desperate for, I guess like more of a light colored puffer jacket. I have a black long lined puffer coat but I just wanted something a bit more light colored for if I didn't want to wear a black puffer. This one is more of like a cropped fit. It is quite, I guess, tight fitting. I can't wear a chunky jumper under it, but it is quite a cute look with like a top underneath and a pair of jeans. So yeah, love this. I then have a blazer from H&M, which I managed to pick up in the January sales, I believe. I kind of told myself I don't need another gray blazer, but I did actually end up putting a few on eBay and Depop. So yeah, and also now that I look at it, I don't even, I don't really know why I was thinking, oh, I don't need another gray blazer because I mean, it might look gray from far, but it really is black and white. And that's probably why it looks gray from afar. Um, but I just love the pattern of this blazer. It just feels like a really lovely quality. I feel like some of my blazers are just your typical polyester blazer, but this one, I don't know, it's just a bit thicker and a bit nicer quality. And I felt like I didn't really have many kind of wool style blazers. So, so happy I managed to get a hold of that. And then have a couple of dresses from NAKD. I am trying to remember whose collab this was with. I believe it was the collab with Georgina Lennon. And she brought out an entire collection and these pieces were the ones that just stood out to me. Um, she brought out two of these like ribbed knit dresses. Um, so I picked up the one in black and the one in this kind of like olivey green. I wasn't sure if I'd like the olivey green colour, but honestly, I'm obsessed with both. The only weird thing is that the black one I can wear out and about, but the olive green one, it really drags on the floor. So even though I got them both in the same size, 
the olive one is longer which kind of doesn't make much sense to me so unless i want it dragging on the floor i kind of can't wear it out so i might need to get it upholstered but they are so cute and like the sleeves i don't know if you can see that at the end They're, like scalloped at the ends of the sleeves and it's scalloped i think at the bottom of the dresses as well so yeah i've been wearing these to death the last month I then, before Christmas, I bought this dress from Pretty Lavish. I, to be fair, actually, I bought this dress to be my Christmas day dress, but it actually ended up being my Christmas Eve day dress. <laughs> but anyway, I still wore it around Christmas. Um, and it is this really quite thick cream knit dress with these white buttons down the middle. I'm obsessed with this and it is such a lovely quality. Like, it is just so soft and so thick. It's so much of a nicer quality than I thought it would be. So I was very impressed with this. And as you can tell, I've just been loving a knit dress, honestly. Like I just really wasn't feeling trousers and jeans the last month or two. I've just been wanting to wear comfy dresses. And then quite recent in my wardrobe, um, I did do an NAKD haul on my channel. Although I don't know if I've edited that yet. It will be up soon. But I also did order a coat in that video. Um, I didn't mention it in the video because it wasn't part of the collection. Um, but it is this black faux fur coat. So this is part of the Lovisa Barkman collection. And I also follow her on Instagram and love like everything that she wears. Again, this was a size a bit bigger than I would have liked. This was a 36. I definitely could have got away with a 32 or a 34. Again, because it is that kind of oversized look, it kind of works. I love it, it makes me feel so extra. I am a little bit torn about like, is it one of those pieces that in a year's time I'm gonna be like, why did I buy that? But at the same time, it's just so cute and bougie. Right, and then last but not least, I placed an under the stories order last month. I was just in a real need for some new t-shirts. I really didn't like the ones that I currently had. I just wanted some boxier fits. So I think this is just like the basic boxy t-shirt from Under the Stories. Um, I got it in the white, also got it in the black, and then I also got it in the striped, which I've also been loving as well. So I probably will need some more of the black and the white t-shirts, but before I had the t-shirts from Arquette, and to be fair, I had like the basic ones, so I think they might have other styles, but the basic ones were just a bit too fitting, whereas I just love how comfortable these are. And then I also got a pair of jeans, which were, I think these were in the sale as well. These are the ones that have the patches, like the back pockets on the front as well. I've actually bought these before, and then I ended up sending them back. Um, not because I didn't love them, I did love them, but they were just way too long, and obviously, <laughs> Me buying them again, that was still true. Um, however, I've just been wearing them like slightly folded over. I am kind of tempted to get them upholstered. I don't know, I'm a little bit scared. I do love the style and the design so, so much. I kind of regret not keeping them last time. <laughs> but like I said, I just sent them back because of the length. But I've been making them work. And to be fair, if I was to wear like little heels, it probably wouldn't be a problem. So yeah, those have been my new favorite jeans i feel like i went through all of that so so quickly but there we go that is the end of what is new in my wardrobe please let me know if you enjoyed it if you did then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're new on my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye